Welcome to ASU's University Academic Success Programs. This video will cover the topic Chain Rule. What is the significance of Chain Rule for differentiation? Chain Rule is a formula which can be used to determine the derivative of composition of two or more functions. Let f be a real valued function which is a composition of two functions u and v. If t is equal to u of x and both dt by dx and dv by dt exists, then according to the chain rule, df by dx equals dv by dt times dt by dx. In order to evaluate a derivative using the chain rule, we follow these steps. First, we write the chain rule formula specific to the problem. The above formula is when the function f of x is composed of two functions. The formula would be different if the function is composed of three functions. The next step would be to evaluate the individual derivatives. Finally, we substitute so that we obtain the final answer in terms of the variable given in the problem. I don't quite get this yet. Can we do a few examples? Sure. Let us consider an example. Let us say we have to evaluate the derivative of the function sin 2x with respect to x. Let us review the formula for chain rule and analyze a few things. Term dv by dt indicates that v is a function of t and not x. Similarly, the term dt by dx indicates that t is a function of x. We must select v and t for the problem with these in mind. Here, let us say t equals 2 times x. This means that v equals sin of t since we know that we are required to evaluate the derivative of sin 2x. From the chain rule formula, we know that df by dx equals dv by dt times dt by dx. The next step would be to evaluate the individual derivatives. We know that v equals sin t. This implies dv by dt equals cos t. Similarly, we know that t equals 2 times x. This implies dt by dx equals 2. We substitute these derivatives in the chain rule formula. Okay, so df dx equals 2 cosine of t, right? That is true to some extent, but the problem is not done. We have been asked to evaluate the derivative of the function with respect to x. But 2 times cos t has a t term in it. Hence, we substitute the value of t, which is 2x, back into our solution to obtain the final answer. Thus, the derivative of sin 2x with respect to x is 2 cos 2x. Okay, I think I follow. Can we do another example? Sure. Let us consider another example. Let us say we are required to evaluate the derivative of the function sin of cos of x square. There seems to be more than just u and v as we saw in the previous example. Yes, that is true. Let us extend the chain rule formula. By chain rule, we have df by dx equals dv by du times du by dt times dt by dx. How did you come up with this formula? We can visualize the function to be made of layers. Consider the previous example sin 2x. Sin 2x can be thought of as the outermost layer and the derivative of sin 2x with respect to x is cos 2x. Once we have differentiated the outermost layer, let us move on to the next layer 2x. The derivative of 2x with respect to x is 2 and we stop right there because further differentiation of 2 would give us 0. There are thus two layers and hence we have two variables t and v where t is a function of x and v is a function of t. By looking at the problem, we can identify the number of layers. In other words, we differentiate the function continuously until we reach a constant. Okay, so in this problem there are three layers. The outermost layer is the sine function. The next layer would be the cosine function and the innermost layer is x squared. Since we have three layers, we have three variables v, u, and t where t is a function of x, u is a function of t, and v is a function of u. Is that right? That is correct. Now let us come back to our example. Let t be equal to x square. Now u is a function of t and hence u equals cos of t. v is a function of u and comparing it with the function f of x, we find that v equals sin of u. By chain rule, we have df by dx equals dv by du 
times du by dt times dt by dx. The next step would be to evaluate the individual derivatives. dt by dx equals d by dx of x square which equals 2x. du by dt equals d by dt of cos t which equals the negative of sin t. dv by du equals d by du of sin u which equals cos of u. Substituting the derivatives in the chain rule formula, we get df by dx equals 2x times negative sin t times cos u. We finally substitute for u and t in terms of x, right? Yes, that is the last step. We know that u equals cos of t and t equals x square. Therefore, df by dx equals negative 2x times sin of x square times cos of cos of x square. Okay, I understand the concept now. In order to evaluate a derivative using the chain rule, we first determine the layers and hence the number of variables involved by looking at the function. Next, we determine the chain rule formula and evaluate the individual derivatives. We finally substitute for the variables to ensure that the final answer is in terms of the variable which is present in the problem. Perfect. 